Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have this power series and we have to prove that its radius of convergence is 1. Okay, so let us write a given power series first. We have what we have summation n running from 1 to infinity z raised to n n plus 1. So its power is looking different. Okay, so what will I do? I will expand this series. So this is equal to let us put n is equal to 1 here. So we will have z 1, 1 plus 1, 2. So z square plus. Let us put n is equal to 2. So 2 and 2 plus 1, 3. That means z is to 6. Let us put n is equal to 3 here. 3 and 3 plus 1, 4. That means z is to 12. Okay. Plus and so on. So this type of series we have. So actually this series is nothing but 0 plus 0 z plus z square plus 0 z cube plus 0 z raised to 4 plus 0 z raised to 5 plus after that we have z raised to 6 and so on. So what it means? It means here a n. Okay, a n. n that means multiple of z, z raised to n. So here n is 0 if our n is not equal to k into k plus 1. That means if the power, if the power n is in this is not equal to this form, then multiple of z raised to n is 0. And it is equal to 1 if n is equal to k into k plus 1. That means when you have the power in this form, then only you will have its coefficient 0, sorry, 1. Otherwise, its coefficient will be 0. That means n has two different values for different values of n. See, now the question is how to find radius of convergence. So when you have this type of situation, I will suggest you to go with the definition of radius of convergence. That means which we get from cauchy hadamard theorem. 1 by r is equal to limit supremum mod n raised to 1 by n. So let us follow that definition. Then let me write 1 by r. r means radius of convergence is limit n tends to infinity supremum of mod n raised to 1 by n. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity supremum of, okay. So let us find the n raised to 1 by n. But see n has two different values, either it will be 0 or 1. So if you put 0, 0 raised to anything, you will have 0 obviously. And 1, if you put 1, 1 raised to 1 by n, again it will be 1, getting. So that means we will have two different values, possibilities 0 and 1. So we are interested to find its supremum value, maximum value. So obviously it is 1. So this is equal to 1. So what we get, we get 1 by r is equal to 1. So obviously r is also equal to when if by taking reciprocal. So that's why radius of convergence of given power series is 1. Okay, make a screenshot of it. Then I will give you next problem to you. So now I have given a problem here and you have to try for it. Okay, same technique you have to use which we have used right now. Okay, so try for it and send me your answer. You can write your answer in comment box. Thank you. Bye-bye.